so over a month now I've been planning to go to this game and it's finally the day and yes we're back with some more non-league football what a better way uh, you actually can't see it right now but what a better way than none other to start it off than Shoe Park still can't see it there we are Yes, tonight, East Kilbride this will face Camberslang Rangers in a friendly game. But I find this game a bit special because it's, um, a, like, I forgot what it, I'll put it up on the screen right now. I forgot the word for it and what's happening tonight. It's for, like, a tribute for someone, or, I think so. Um, but tonight's a special match at the Show Park, as you can see behind me, right there in the gates. Show Park, I find that really cool, um, getting that printed on there. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty good ground this, we've seen it before on the channel and we're seeing it today once again. So far this is one of my favourite non-league grounds and it's just, they're actually upgrading it a wee bit. Last time I actually came here they were actually painting the fence a wee bit in the colours of EK Thistle. So aye, they've done some work with this stadium and it's not the worst in conditions, maybe out of the front as you can see here uh, a bit. Um, but it's it's still it's still a good ground in my opinion. But I'll show you about this place for today's match. It's gonna be a good one. Boxnets, I think a bottom division team. Look at the colours in that as well, the stripes, black and white. Aaron, you're obviously the EK Thistle manager. How does it feel managing a club at this level? Uh, it's, um, I do enjoy it, aye. It's, uh, it's hard, hard work, really <laughs> hard work, but I do love it. I love football, I've been involved in football as long as I can remember, so um, when the opportunity came to manage them, sort of I felt like I couldn't say no and as I said, I just love coming here, I love going to training, love mm -hmm. coming to games, so it's always something that I'll do, whether I'm a manager in future or whether I'm coaching or whatever, I'll always be involved in football. Mm. Aye, and tonight you'll play Canberra Slang Rangers, are you confident for tonight's match? <laughs> Confidence may be a stretch, I think it'll be a good game, mm -hmm. but you yeah. know, Cam's Lang a couple of leagues above us, um, yeah, we've got some good players on a good side, so for us it's just a, it's a test for us, you know, it's mm -hmm. three seasons for you going to test yourself against better opposition, try and develop the players, so we had a young group, a lot of young players that we've had for a, a wee while now that we're hoping to continue improving. So, excited for the game, obviously it's a, a bit of a special one with being a memorial for Alan Patterson who sadly passed away a while ago yeah. now. So, um, really excited for the game. Uh -huh. And a season question, how do you think you'll get on during out the West of Scotland, is it 4th Division? 4th Division, right. yeah. It'll be a really competitive league, I think. Um, it was competitive last year, we just fell short last year. I thought we started the season really well and then we finished. Yeah quite poorly actually from about March onwards so we just got to hope to improve on what we done last year so I think we finished we end up finishing seventh. If we can improve on that, concede less goals, score more goals and get more points then we'll be delighted as a club. Alright, good luck tonight Adam. Thank you mate, cheers. And we have made it into the show park for tonight. Yes, as you can see they have painted this. I was right from the last time. You can see here, it's definitely not old paint as you can see. Look how new that looks. But aye, it's a it's a brilliant normally ground to visit. Uh, for any ground hoppers out there, uh, which it have been before, but not for a game tonight. Uh, for I think this is the first ever time I've seen a um, bottom division game, which is pretty mental. So non-league fans, uh, you've got a game coming up tonight, which is a good one. So uh, I, ho I hope it's all good for you tonight. But one one favourite thing about this EK Thistle's ground. I think we need a better fan base inside of here. Look, it's totally empty right now. We did see some Camby boys, so Camber Slang, if you know what I mean. Um, like, I think the ultras um, walk past us, but it's it's a very quiet night. Also, sometimes I think people up there will for walk sometimes, and even EK 
this will train behind that fence, I think. I've seen it in one of the posts. Very nice pitch they've obviously got in condition. Over there isn't really the best because it's got like tall grass like right there. Um, but I like this. Oh, let me zoom back out there. Uh, it's like step up things. I don't really know what it is. But this stadium could probably hold a big capacity. As look at the rest of space that's here. So stands are fo so funny here. Um, it's n it's nice, yeah. Obviously, you've got your bricks and stuff. It's a, it's a pretty well done thing. It's, it's not that bad. Um, but the seats are actually pulled out. So you grab a seat and sit wherever you want, really. I think so. So that's class. Tell the Camby boys are here tonight. Making a noise for just a friendly game for a play. Big thanks to Aaron there for coming on uh, since I have been planning to go to this game for a while. So, yeah, I reached out on the media uh, and hope gladly got an interview with them. So, yeah, thanks for coming on, um, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Helps my vlogs always, uh, especially getting getting interviews at this level. It's, it's really good to interview people. Uh, there's not a lot of fans tonight, um, but it's good to interview people from this level um, because I, you can see how it is for them, obviously. Uh, interviewing, talking to them at, I think it's bottom division so yeah, it's a team from that league so it's good to hear what they say about it With the drum tonight Oof, some noise £2 for a pie oh, not a pie because they, they didn't actually have pies on like hot chocolate or like stuff like that um, because it's only a friendly game £2 for a bovo and packet of crisps isn't the worst um, it's a, it's a pretty good deal for that. A lot more people have turned up now, which is good. Like to see that. Like less than five minutes until kick off your actual park. It's going to be exciting for our, like, I think our, if I'm pretty sure our first non league match. We might have lost count, but our first yeah, non league match, I think. Here come your teams. Here's East Coast Bright Thistle. Can you not just connect the banner or something? Making some sort of like banner, something right there. Can you see? We've got a pyro as well. Look at this. I have no clue. This is mental. Here comes your Canvas Lang Rangers team. Minute of silence here for a fan. I think Alan Patterson. I might be, I think I'm wrong with that name. But yeah. I think it's a minute's clap for him. There we are. Rest in peace. Right, so here is kickoff at EK Thistle. Um, I think that's a, basically a replica of the kit right there to the actual Rangers FC kit. Um, but here we are. There we are, kickoff. But look down the sidelines. No linesmen or either on that side. Yes, and this division refs are the only chance of like your VAR and stuff. Oh, someone now to Canvas Line Rangers. There we go. One now Canvas Line. Free kick here. Oh, this is the post. What a shot. Oh, it's another goal. What a goal that was. Oh, Canvas Line? Oh, no, I mean, Eke Thistle. Oh. oh. Another close chance. It has actually been a good game so far. Two goals. Don't think it's about 10 minutes in. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a decent normal game so far. The amount of chances is wild. Mm -hmm. There's a dog in the pitch. The pitch yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that is normally the that is fine. A dog in our pitch. It just ran on there. It was so funny. It's now off, but we're back to the football again. Camera song at our end. Once again. Oh, what a save. Oh, oh, oh my god, they missed. Oh, how have they not scored? Oh, can be dangerous. Oh, great save. What an attendance for tonight. Look at that. That's about, I would say about 200 fans there. There's obviously people over, like a few people over here. But we're currently just sitting on a bench. So it's like right beside the goal. Uh, it's a pretty cool, I would think. It would hold like four people, but we're, it's actually a pretty good view because see if someone scores there, it would be perfect. Yuki Thistle are in. Oh, it's a goal, Yuki Thistle. There we go. There we go, half time. 
Yep. Uh, Camera Slime Rangers 2, EK Thistle 1. Wow, what a half it's been at, I think, my first non-league game. So, aye, it's been a, it's been a, it's a feisty game. I've been, been a bit of a uh, decent game, though, with three goals already for one half. Um, that's what I like about non-league games. You more get, tend to get... Um, more goals, you know what I mean? Because it's just like more excitement, more drama happens, and the refs, man, they're all on their own without like any linesmen either at this level, so it's tough for them as well. So you can't really know it them a lot. Liam, you're a Camber Slang Rangers fan. How do you think of that result at, at half time? Yeah, quite happy, quite happy. It's pre season, isn't it? But it's still good to get good to get the lights going into it, and that's a good game. Uh -huh. And how do you think they'll do at full time? Do you think it will be a good score? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. how will Campus Lang Rangers do next season? Hard to, hard to say. <laughs> you always yeah. need hope, you? You always need hope. Aye. I think they'll go up, I think they'll win. Okay, good luck for next season. It's actually quite a silent half time here. I don't, you can't really hear anyone, surprisingly. Usually it doesn't happen at half time, you get hyped up. Ball's coming, mate. Really cool detail about EK Thistle, their colours obviously, I uh, talked about this last time I was here, but black and um, white obviously, but I'll, I'll show a wee bit of red into it, but look at the fences here, it's actually so, it's actually, for this non-league ground, it's actually quite a decent size, size, and it's actually really well done, like i got to say fair play, you should go red Thistle, Which, what is this, it's an old dugout, flipped over on its side, look at that, glass and stuff or not really plastic glass but look it's all falling off look at that it's a bit mental normally grounds in it so a funny story about where East School Ride Thistle is actually based in it's based in a village called the village I, I, I saw it on a sign <laughs> it's just called the village it's just meant oh my god they've just kicked the ball over and I've just seen a boy climbing over them fences just to go get it oh, you can't really lose balls here because they don't have a lot of them well here come your teams for the second half still a very quiet actual park i don't know where the buzz is all gone second half kick off here oh camera flying seeming to go right up but you get this we block that there eight o'clock and you'd think this is a 3 p.m kick off Oh, you get this one in. Oh my god! Oh, there's a goal! Equaliser for East Coast Ride Thistle. There we go. This is now 2 2. What a game. On the box? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, how's there not been another goal? Oh! I need a couple more non league games. This has been mental. Can be. Rangers have just e no, not equalised. Three two now. Five goals, man. This is mental. Swung in the. B oh my god, what was that? Just went to Mars. Just explain to me. What is this? There's a football there. Uh, there's a bin. I don't know. Cameron Rangers have scored it again. Another good goal from number. I think he's over there. Number 23, if I can find them. Yeah, right there, with the headband on. Going in the box. Oh my god, they've just got another one. That's like two goals in like two minutes. I don't know, a minute at least. So that went from half time at 2 2. East School Bride, this will actually woke up back into the game. Now it's 5 2. Seven goal thriller, man. I was about to say that's good for its price of seven goals, but we didn't even have to pay to get in. Under 16 3, that is brilliant. Come on. Oh. So another goal can be Rangers. There we go. So we've got a request to use this step, oh, step if you want to call it. Climb up here and look for another ball. I have no clue what it is. I'll try to look for a ball. This is mental. No, 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 it's not, we're not keeping it, but we're like, eh. Is that, a, is that a ball there? No, we're, we're just doing them a favour. The only ball I could find is that mermaid ball. <laughs> I couldn't find anything else. Oh, is that a pen? No, it's a shout, but no. Right, we've now just decided to stand pitch side, if you guess you'd say. It's just normal grass, as most normal pitches are for non-league. Um, been a pretty entertaining match with eight goals. 
There we go, full time, 6 2 Canberra Slang Rangers. Slot right in the line. Go on then, give your best shot. You're under pressure. Give your best shot. Go on. You can't, you can't complain, he's a goalie. What you meant to do? We are full time here at Show Park. A uh, very decent game where, um, what was that, eight goals? Uh, eight goals, man, that's a eight goal killer. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great game. Uh, and, well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today with, I think I basically got on, what, sorry? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> uh, what was just asking there? I didn't put him on his vlog. Uh, but, I was full time. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's a pretty good match, and I'll see you all in the next one, which is either tomorrow or Friday.